Hey folks, I'm back with a new video. After doing my part cast of the guitar, I decided I'd try something new. Uh, it can't be that hard to make a body. I've looked at a few of the band casters and uh, things like that on YouTube. I thought, I'm going to give that a go myself. Uh, I don't really want a band caster, but if it doesn't turn out that nice, uh, I'll end up making it into one anyway. Uh, so hopefully, I'll be a nice sort of Telecaster shape um, body and uh, I'm thinking some sort of crimson red finish would be quite nice on it so I'll have to experiment, most of the dyes I see are nothing like the colour I want so I'm going to have to mess around with that to get the colour it could take me a while and I'm certainly going to give it a try uh, I'm not going to buy any fancy routers or anything like that uh, I've got a few hand tools, chisels and stuff like that, see what I can manage. Here I am in Wix. This bit's got some interesting patterns in it. Eh, that'll do me. Okay folks, so here we go, I'm going to be attempting my first build. Well, at least the body. <laughs> So I've got a chunk of wood. It's five and a half inches wide, so I'm going to have to like glue three planks together, uh, approximately eighteen inches. Uh, I'm not quite sure what shape I'm making it yet. It's an inch and a half wide, so it's roughly Telecaster size or the red special, possibly. So I'm going to try and lose the bits with the knots in. So this will give us 18 inches to the next notes. I don't mind the wee... I might actually uh, put a veneer on it so it doesn't really matter that much to be honest with you but I'm going to try and get the best bit of wood that I can. Um, certainly for the centre piece of the guitar. Okay, due to the wood being chamfered along the edge, I'm going to take a bit of mill off it. It will not be fun, but I've uh, I've got a sure form just now. I'll see if that's going to help me much. Uh, you can see the tracks that the shear form left. Should have got a plane. Come to the fun part now. Tracing out the outline. So I'm going for the telly. Considering pines are soft wood, you could have felt me this take some going. Yeah, there we go. Rough shapes, kind of telecasterish. Um, do need a bit of tidying up though. Okay, it's about time to cut the neck pocket to get the sort of rough measurements at the moment. I've uh, stuck some thread through a couple of tuners, the uh, first and the sixth string, taking it right through the bridge and back up to the other tuner. Got the neck meeting the body at the 16th fret and mid travel on the bridge adjusters at 25 and a half inch. So. Well, it's a good start anyway. So 
I've got a little masking tape down. Just mark on that so it's easier to see than just marking the body. Okay, so I've marked off the, the neck pocket depth of about 15mm. It should really be about 18 but I had a spacer on my other one so I'm kind of taking that into account. See the depth. So that's needing fixed.
wet and dry, 2,500. <coughs> Just had a couple of coats, allowed to dry for a couple of nights. Just flatten off, there's a couple of dusty spots I think. Try to make a static and dust free area just now. We're doing the varnishing. It certainly helped with my second coat. First coat was covered in dust. I thought why not cover it? And it seemed a good idea. And it was. Fingerboard had uh, a lot of horrible white markings on them. Let's try to dye that just now with some uh, coffee granules and water. It's certainly pitch not better than it was. I'm running off the edge of the fretboard on this as it's, uh, it's really sharp and uncomfortable to play. Now this will actually be the third coat of true oil I've given the neck. Okay, 
Okay, just string it up temporary so I can get the placement for the bridge. Decent alignment here. Set it there. off the bridge and also the strings. I'm just keeping this a top loader because I don't know how good this bridge is and it doesn't meet the standards of fender specs so I don't want to bore through it and then make a mess and then have to bore the back again. We'll see how the bridge goes. It was just a cheap Chinese bridge. I've replaced the screws as well because the screws that came with the bridge were less than half an inch. There we go, i just got to string it up, see what happens with that. Uh, I've not got any strap buttons on it, as you can see. I don't envision putting it standing up really, to be honest with you. So yeah, pretty happy with the guitar the way it is just now. It's looking pretty cool. I like the back. The back's looking pretty good. And I think that's just just the way I envisioned it when I started to make it. So I'm really pretty happy. It's playing pretty nice. Uh, single coils were just off a Squire Strat, so it's maybe not the best pickups in the world. It's not, definitely not the best bridge, the spacing's out on it, um, I can demo that and see how I get on. I'm pretty sure I can improve on things anyway, I'll just get, maybe just get another bridge entirely, uh, more a sort of Telecaster style, adjustable, um, not just through the three bridge pieces like that's on this. Happy with it the way it is just now though. Cheers, thanks for watching. <laughs>